That's funny. I'm trying to think about what exactly makes me sound German. Oh, right. I had to. Welp. Maybe it has to do with the way I pronounce R's. Because sometimes I have trouble pronouncing them uh, the way they're supposed to be pronounced in English. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, really, Smashy? That's funny. Yeah, because like some, I have some, I have really inconsistent pronunciation. Sometimes I pronounce things correctly, and when I'm tired or focusing on something else, it becomes really hard to uh, pronounce stuff correctly. And so my French accent just kind of kicks in. I had American teachers though, so that's probably why I sound American from time to time. And I guess the the inconsistencies in my sleeping schedule didn't really help. <laughs> Hopefully the sleeping schedule thing would... Excuse me? Okay. Hopefully the sleeping schedule thing will be fixed soon. I'm trying as hard as I can to uh, at least get through the rest of the semester with a decent sleep schedule. I know I can do it. I have melatonin now, so should be doable. Honestly, I should probably just keep UI on and eat the time loss if I get energy. So what were your first guesses, Smashy? <laughs> like, country-wise? Like, there was America? Was Germany also a candidate from where I could have been from? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that I think of it, I have a few German friends who actually have a um, similar issues with pronouncing some stuff. Uh, not sure this is gonna work. Nice energy. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair, Smashy. Yeah, definitely don't have the... Um, the usual accent that French people have. I would like to, because I think this accent is really cute, and I would like to have it, but... I just don't, and that's the way it is. I'm gonna need to drink when I have the chance. <coughs> Throat getting kinda dry. Nice. Remember to hydrate. 
that's important. Yeah, and there's also like half the French community who just shows up in the chat. So yeah, it's pretty... People are generally pretty quick uh, with making the link. Some tells are also like French expressions that I kind of literally translate. Hope the like the image works, but you can't really know that unless you're French or you know the expressions yourself. That it matters because I'm not gonna get the cycle anyway. But... <laughs> Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> when I was in high school, we used to make fun of our English teacher because she was native, right? And sometimes some of the literature works that we studied had some French words in there. So like, she would pronounce armoire, uh, like, but like, she would pronounce it the English way and we will all make fun of her. It was really funny. I have really fond memories of that class actually. She was a great teacher. MDR. <laughs> She was a bit too strict at times, but that, it was part of her personality. We didn't really mind. She just had that really Puritan vibe, if that makes sense. But you could definitely tell she was raised in a very Christian family. Not that it's a bad thing, it was just... It was unusual for uh, French students like us. But it was great. And it wasn't really cringe, I mean it only showed up at times. Like... It, it was fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, America tends to have some really, um, some die-hard Christians, I don't know if that's the right word. Oh dang, that was a weird ramp. And then that's fine by me, but then some are just like, yeah, you should do this and you should do that, and I'm like, that's, that's my thing, like. <laughs> Actually, we had a few of these in my high school, because I was in a Catholic school. Which is fairly rare in France, considering it's a, it's a like state. So like, it doesn't have a state religion. Yeah, right? Thankfully, the one 
Uh, the ones that were in my school were in, like that. They at least had the respect to um, not uh, slap everything into their face, into other people's face. I mean. So it was actually an interesting conversation as an atheist. Well, I'm not really an atheist, I just don't really care. That's different. I forgot what the word is. Actually, yeah, I've had some really interesting conversations with ministers and priests. Because they have studied um, their religions for so long, they're able to use it not only as some um, hard belief that you have, but some philosophical text that you study. Apatheism, yeah. That works. And like, it was really interesting to discuss with them. Uh, I knew this wouldn't work. Serves me right for trying to ninja jump everywhere. Died. Yeah, I think I know how you feel then. When people are like trying to force their stuff into. It's actually one of the things that I hate the most, like in general. Like people trying to force their own beliefs or morals onto me, and I'm just like, no, like leave me be. <laughs> But yeah, in America it's probably even more visible. Because America has a way different story with religion uh, compared to France. But yeah, I've always been of the opinion that as long as it doesn't bother anyone else, people can just do whatever they want. And it can lead to really interesting discussions as long as uh, the discussion is respectful, which sadly doesn't really happen a lot. Because spirituality most of the time is a pretty heated topic and people can get pretty defensive. I've missed the tell. That's on me. Yeah, that's also fair. I mean, you can arguably uh, believe in God and be Christian without interacting with the church community. Yeah, but yeah, it's whatever you want it to be. Some people do get a sense of community from religion there. Because it's, it's like, they can, um, like going to church and all interacting with other Christian people, it's part of their identity. And I can completely respect that. Historically, religion has always been a community.
Nice energy drop. Yeah, same. I was about to say uh, before I started. Uh, wait, I should relearn really this. I get the the sense of community through speedrunning as well. Okay. Yeah, right. It's really weird how you can just how sometimes you're you're like um, discover stuff and you're like I didn't know I needed that, and a sense of community is probably one of those. I did this with Osu when I was in high school, and then Solas, and now Ori. Uh, okay. And I'm glad I found those communities. Osu a bit less, because uh, Osu has uh, some interesting characters, let's say. But Celeste and Ori are generally super welcoming. April 2016, that's such a long time. That's almost since the start actually, since I think the DE was 2016. So you've been here since the DE was released. That's impressive. Get through messages later. Let me just focus for this. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I think that's the first time it happens. From. Yeah, that was really weird. I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, please? Vanilla was 2015. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the D was released one year after Vanilla. Seriously? Yeah, exactly a year. Okay, if I could stop bleeding time, I would very much appreciate it. Oh, is it also exactly... Like on the same day? That's pretty cool.
Yeah. Nice. March 11th is actually gonna be the release of the Gorlick Mines in Ori 2. It's gonna be the DLC. That was a good value though. Aside from the really unlucky stuff that happened with the Frankie. I'd unironically be super happy if that was a thing. Seriously? Bash bug? Okay, whatever. I'll just do the back off. Man, that bash bug was kind of unlucky. ruining everything yeah I would also be really happy even though I thought it's got it's actually gonna happen all right that's fine I still have some time saving Misty Those splits are fake by the way, they're comparing to Terra Break routes. So I'm gonna save like a billion years in Misty, or on Climb specifically. Uh, okay. Okay, this part I know much better. But I'm still kinda nervous. It's misty, so anything can happen. I'm not gonna look at splits, but I just know I'm gonna save a billion years on that. Because that split was really good. Alright, I'm gonna focus.
Don't get too hyped up. Anything can happen. I'm not trusting that. I won't go for the fast cycle, because I don't know what the cycle is. Yeah, I probably would have died. Yeah, movement in this game is insane. Charge dash is incredible. Yeah, it's too... I, I think Charge Dash is too hard to design around. Okay, Dororp. Nice. That's gotta be close, right? I think this is gonna be low 30. GG. It's probably gonna be like 31x if I were to guess. Yeah, 31x. Ah, uh, dang, I didn't get point one away then this time. Thanks for the GG's. Yeah, VRV Revisit was terrifying. Thanks. I still have some time save though. Like, Enter Ginzo was bad. Bash was not too great. It's gonna be really hard to beat this though. Oh yeah, this as well. 
The main time save that I have is in Glide. Yeah, I see Juggle back up as well. See Juggle back up less like 15 seconds because of the bash bug. My main time save is probably Glide and Sea Jump. Because I have like 15 seconds and Sea Jump. Another 15 in Glide. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I can play within 40 seconds of sub. It's just a matter of grinding for it. Thank you, Smashy. Late game was not that great. Oh, actually, no. I'll take that back. That late game was fire if you take away the Sea Juggle backup. <laughs> True, Smashy. Oh yeah, the Franky aggro, I forgot about that, yeah. But yeah, that late game was actually fire. If you take away the 15 seconds from Sea Juggle back up, that's 917. That's actually really, really good. I think the best I've gotten was 927? Not sure. I'll definitely submit it too, because... Even though I might PB again in the next few weeks, I still want to... I still like to submit every PB I make to keep track of my progression. The only exception is when I PB twice in one day. And even then, when I get back-to-back -back PBs like this, I still upload them to my YouTube channel, I just don't submit both. Because there's no really a point. Only makes more work for the verifiers. But yeah, I like having um, having track of my progression. Oh yeah, Stomp was sub-17, yeah. Yeah, it was really solid. Yeah, Double Jump also had some mishaps. I think I didn't get the... If I recall correctly, I didn't get the Grotto Cycle. Because I got a weird-ass ramp. Then Entro Genzo was some spaghetti bash as well. Stomp was really good though. Probably one of the best I've gotten in runs. Yeah, I got like... I got a weird ramp and I couldn't jump out of the dash. It, it was... it was weird. Oh, also I don't have an actual Glide Gold. Like, my sub can probably be like 29.0x now. Because my actual Glide Gold is like 145 or something. Yeah, it's, it's definitely happened to you before. You've seen much more shit than I have. If I have to do 3 cycle for 29, it means I'm really fucking desperate. <laughs> I, I actually tried it a bit in practice, and like, it was so bad, I instantly gave up on it. Yeah, I have much more time save. I, I don't need that time save right now. That Misty was really good though. Like, everything just went perfectly. Yeah, it's like super weird, precise stuff. But once I get 29, I'll probably be done with the category anyway. Either 29 or a run that I'm really happy with. Like, if I get 301. Uh, actually, if I get 301, I probably won't be happy with it. 
but yeah. If I get 29, I'll just move on to other categories. Probably Oreo. Either Oreo or All Cells. I have to see. Because me and Moose were 